What is good? We got one more for you. I know you guys don't care as much about the tight ends. The numbers show. We know. We know. Oh, we know. Uh, so we'll keep this one a little shorter, a little sweeter. Uh, we got a couple targets here for you. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead it off. I'm going to go Mike Gusecki. I promised you a Penn State guy on all three. Got He's you a Penn been State rock guy. rock hard all night. For, <laughs> I know. My legs just keeps. I don't know if it's, <laughs> if it's his foot or. If, stop. You know. Stop. I can only get so erect. Your <laughs> gun is digging into my hip. So I think I think what we have here is is just again just undervalued. Uh, tight end spots are hard to come by. This is a little bit more of a receiver playing that position. The new new staff came in. I don't think he fit necessarily. Plus you got Waddle, and you got Tyreek. Yeah. Um, I think they want a more blocking tight end. They want a Kittle. They want somebody to do something. Everybody wants Kittle. Well, so they just they want a little bit more of a hybrid more than yeah. maybe Kyle just a straight Shanahan's up pass catcher. Son really wants Kittle. Plus the way they had this offense designed, you know, Gusecki had some big moments, five touchdowns this year, yeah. um, but n nowhere near on the 112 targets, 73 catch year that he had the year before, 85 and 89 targets the years before that. Yeah. So th this guy is going to be a free right? agent this year. They, they kind of, uh, I think they tagged him this year. I believe they um, did. They did. Well. Yep. And then so to do a, nothing, a free agent, and there there is going to be somebody who is going to be interested in bringing Gasecki sure. to have you know a very wide receiver like you know we just saw you know Evan Ingram go over to the Jacks you know yeah maybe the, maybe the Jaguars say hey we're not going to pay Ingram because he just had a great year maybe we can get Gasecki for a little cheaper yeah um, and not saying that that's going to happen but you know there's going to be plenty of suitors out there for for a Gasecki type player a Gusecki type role you saw Hawk go right over to the Lions and immediately just be boom Boy, shot made, right they, back they into made, a guy that you top three four tight end in yeah, every startup draft for sure unlike the Bears and Claypool those Vikings made sure that they look good on that trade acquisition yeah I mean the Vikings or the Bears or Jesus every other team the Lions could be somebody Mike Gusecki could go right you know oh, they're missing you a know a little one. tight yeah. end there uh, they traded away their guy maybe you get a cheap Cheap deal for Gasecki here. He's going to be looking for some money, but you know I don't know that he'll get it. They'll probably draft somebody. I'm just saying. Maybe the Packers. Like, maybe the whole uh, NFC North could. Maybe the, maybe the Packers. Yeah. NFC. The only one that's North. not going to do it is the Bears because Komet, baby, let's go. Which I guess I. How many yards did he have? I, he was just short of whatever we yeah. agreed to. Uh, which I don't even know what we agreed to. I don't. To. There, I, there, I could I could finagle my way out of this. I think because there is no agreement anywhere between me and the other party. I thought it was 500. Uh, there's the, some, I want to say it's 580, but uh, some stats because uh, I don't. I, we were on a round number. I feel like when we were talking about yeah, it. Yeah, 580 seems like a really weird number. Um, to that was there was an over under there, but we we were right under it. So I will be taking a pie to the face from one of the patron, not from one of the patrons. It'll probably be my wife delivering the pie, um, but it'll be. <laughs> will it be a cream pie? <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll probably make a a Jello. She's gonna make a pie. I'm gonna make two. One to eat. One you to just, throw in my you face. You just get a thing and you oh, just no, rip you can't, it. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah, you that, need that's a real pie. Literally that's literally what that's you do. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's literally. You gotta get a pie. We're getting a pie. It's whipped cream. It's either gonna face. be blueberry or or chocolate Jello with some whipped cream on the top. You can't waste a good. Yes, pie. you can. That's what you gotta do. It's gotta be a real pie. You can't go. You can't just go whipped cream. That's that's uh, that's a cop out. Can't do that. That's what need a real pie. Everybody's doing. Need to put blueberries on their face. Bang. So there will I'll be put some blueberries. There will be some you. some content of that. So Mike Kosecki won't be blue anymore. First trade target for me, tight end wise. Who you got? Uh, uh, I have turquoise Matt. Steel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to get uh, you a ten gallon hat. I don't think we can <laughs> trade for Jesus Christ. Howdy Tex. <laughs> he doesn't play tight end. Couple. He of could them. play tight end though. Fuck yeah, he could. Uh, Jelani Woods. Love it. I think we were uh, doing the live stream. The what was that? The uh, Steelers Colts game, I think it was. When he came in and got, what did he get? Fit? Was that the eight? Eight? eight yeah, catches? like eight for ninety and like yeah. a touchdown. Yeah, I mean he, he's definitely the more ath the most athletic tight end in that tight end room, bar none. Right. And Branson's not the worst though. No, but Mac is. I mean, I I was a big Mac guy, but he's just not it. You know, he played basketball. Uh, really. <laughs> Where he, do you know where he went to school at? I do not. Ah, it's Moorhead State. Mm. <laughs> Gotta love Moorhead. And You're cream so pies. State. You're so thirsty. He's the thirstiest. He's just a thirst trap. Is what they, 
That's <laughs> parched. <laughs> I, I love the Jelani Woods. I yeah. had I had him in the dynasty mustaches, um, <laughs> I but lo, some overlap here. Yeah, athletic freak. Um, he flashes upside. Obviously, again, like we talked about with uh, Pierce, there's a QB change, a whole fleet upgrade coming. I don't know, fuck maybe maybe Baker. I don't know. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> um, but it can't be. It. I mean, Baker. Baker? Baker's getting a job. The the, the quarterback landscape is. Sammy D's dry. probably gonna get a job too. Sammy D's definitely getting a job. <laughs> he might stay in Carolina. Uh, he might stay in Carolina. I yeah. think they need to cut ties with yeah, all they, the lies. <laughs> <laughs> the you been living in. Yeah. Um. No, I love Jelani. I haven't even been playing tight end for all that long. Was a quarterback in college. Um, switched over to tight end. Six seven, super athletic. So I I agree a hundred percent. Street dragon cats in Virginia <laughs> Tech. Virginia. 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 He's smarter than that. Um, no, they're both good schools. UVA is, I think, on another level than. I don't know. I think mm. Virginia. I think Virginia Tech's I'm got going, some. I'm taking UVA. Well, I think I, no. I'm agreeing this. with you. I think UVA is over Vatek. Yeah. But I think I'll, Vatek's no. I'm going. Is no South Carolina. I'd wager on that one. Um. Yeah, no South Carolina. Um, <laughs> Clemson, baby. Uh, <laughs> Clemson. <laughs> I think Virginia Tech and Clemson are are probably closer than you know UVA. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're both engineering. Clemson's schools, the top twenty architecture. So. Top men. <laughs> Clemson. <laughs> All right. Um, I got. I got. We're gonna. We're gonna throw. Us a, I think we're gonna be a lot of rookies here. Uh, I, I could throw one more non-rookie in here before I get to a rookie list. I think Darren Waller is gonna get undervalued here, giving you flashes here at the end of the at season. Thirty doesn't matter. I mean, look at we got Travis Kelsey, who's just gonna continue to be fucking good until apparently he just decides to retire. I saw a stat today from somebody where Tony Gonzalez was putting up tight end one, tight end two numbers in the 37 up until he decided to retire. But I'm not, I'm not saying that they are, but I mean, Waller Kelsey could be and Kelsey can, can be. Really so. quick aside here, I need to listen to their podcast because I see clips from it all the time and they're always so fucking good. Who? Him, Travis, and Kelsey Jason have a Kelsey? podcast. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It well, always was, looks so good. That I've seen clips from it. They're always so good. I saw a clip where Jason was asking Travis to tell him who his top, tight end in the league was not him and he didn't want to do it but he i think he let off with darren waller yeah no so no no he went kittle kittle and then he's like i gotta give another one darren waller and then mark andrews obviously right but, yeah but he but darren waller was like on the tip of his tongue now darren waller's giving you a glimpse into what 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 is there at the end of the season here um mm -hmm. uh, and so i think the value is going to be down on him so i'll throw another veteran in there just before we get into a conglomerate of rookies because there really isn't all that much to say about him because they hadn't played a ton but trey mcbride is a trade yeah, target for had me some really had some great had a, had, yeah he looked good the last couple the sands i urge especially the last couple of games right he's been very startable very good very solid um was was a, a great talent coming in a 90 catch guy at, at colorado um, and then, you know, you're probably going to get Ertz back again there next year, so you may have but to. But we don't know how bad that knee injury was, and we, it was we also don't. later in the season, so. For sure. Big so Breezy could come in as the starter. McBride could certainly, 100%. I think that's a very good call, um, and I don't know that everybody has caught up to how good McBride was, and I, I, I just, and people, I don't think if you, if you realize, like, I don't know if you can get the game log of, of McBride there, but it was, it was fucking pretty rock solid there with backup quarterbacks and a little bit of Kyler mixed in <laughs> Trace um, McSorley, <laughs> David Blau. He had some really strong games in there. Um, so, uh, you know, Trey McBride up, up there for, you know, and then, then we know tight ends, one of the tougher transitions, uh, of all, of all the positions. Yeah. Cause so. you're, you're basically playing two positions. You're playing tight, you're playing offensive line and wide receiver. Right. Um, so they're, they're saying they're looking to move on from Hopkins uh, they're, they're, he's in he's in trade discussions. So you got Hollywood and Rondell, basically there. Dorch is out of there. Uh, he's a free agent. Um, and so you know they're they're missing. They got no big bodies either. So this is this guy could just dominate the red zone next year, um, and he could be a volume catcher because you know we kind of saw that at at uh, at Colorado, Colorado, and State. He's had some 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 pretty good uh, games throughout here. Uh, so McBride is next on the list for me. You got one. Uh, Jake Ferguson. Oh, nice. Another layover from my mustaches. Yep. He's been a guy I've been targeting all all season long because of the Dalton Schultz free agency. So and Ferguson's had some good had some flashes as well too. He's been banged up a little bit, but right. uh obviously Hendershot's shots there as well too, but I think they play a little bit different positions. Um but um I've been happy with Ferguson. I mean I've just 
paying forks for him at the beginning of the season. So he was free in startups. Yeah, I think I know. picked. I think I was drafting him in the fourth late in rookie drafts, and I was getting him for free, um, in early rookie drafts. So I mean, he's obviously worth something now. So, um, cat's not quite out of the bag just yet, though. No, not quite. I mean, the second that Ferguson, I mean, the second Schultz. that uh, Schultz signs somebody else, though. That value is going unless they sign like a Gasicki then. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know where their cap is. I don't think it's. Yeah, I'm not sure what their cap space is either. Um, so they got to pay though, right? It, it is, it is fake. But I, you know, I don't, I don't. We, we got, you got a big quarterback. You got, you, they got a lot tied up in Zeke. They got, yeah, tied, they got money gonna, tied up in Zeke. Just gonna say that. They're, they're, they, you know, you're probably gonna want to try to get Pollard back potentially. You got an offensive line. Uh, yeah. You got defensive stars emerging. You got CD who's gonna need a contract. Um, Are they gonna trade a first round pick for Sean Payton? No, I can't imagine. I so. can't imagine they do that. Um, I think Peyton's going to end up in probably Arizona. Seems like likely, but but, th- but they have the Saints have to let him go, and the Saints have to get compensation. Sure, yeah, could yeah. be Miami and Tommy going together. Could be Miami, Tommy, Sean Peyton. Boom. I think I think that um, uh, McDaniel is safe. That did they make the playoffs? Yeah, they made the playoffs, right? Mm-hmm. They did. Yeah, McDaniel He's eked yeah. in with a yeah. Uh, but but two is not going to play. So yeah, Skyler Thompson. Yeah, <laughs> which this will drop after all this happens. So yeah, you already know the results of that. <laughs> you already know. Um, I'm going to go Daniel Bellinger, another rookie. Yeah, he was doing real well at the Fantastic. beginning of the season, and then it seems like after he had the eye injury, he just never really got back yeah, in the I think swing that was of things. Kind of a, a little bit of a tough one to to get back. Crazy on. eye injury. That was all. Oh, I saw it happen. It was oh, it looked bad. We're about to get a, a little uh, Giants in the in the postseason here. We'll see how that goes. And also, but this is a weak rookie tight end class from the from the outset. Other than other than Mayer, Mayer and Kincaid are good. Doesn't seem like a whole lot of. Uh, uh, I think there's one more, maybe South South Dakota State. Is the Georgia guy not eligible? No, he's no, he's no still, Brock Bowers. No, he's a sophomore. But there's another. There's there's a Washington from I think Georgia who's eligible. Uh, no, I don't believe Darnell Washington is. Maybe, maybe, maybe he not. is. I, I don't I think know. Think he might be. Um, I know. I know the other guy, Gilbert, is in the tra- transfer portal again. So. Mm-mm-mm. So I, I thought Bellinger had a really nice year. He looked he looked the part. They don't have an offense necessarily. They got a lot of work to do. They got Richie James and Isaiah Hodgins out there crushing. Well, that's I love Isaiah because Hodgins, of uh, Wandale getting sure. And and Wandale is, should be a trade target on the wide receivers. We didn't get that far down the list, but we'll talk about him. Uh, but I I want a part of this offense moving forward. Yeah, um, this and he th- seems like he's going to be an interesting. Very curious part. what this offense looks like is going into twenty twenty three. Right, there's a lot of. We don't know who the quarterback's going to be. Probably going to be Daniel Jones. We don't know who the discount. quarterback's going to be. We don't know who the running back's going to be. He's going to get a job. There's we don't know who the wide receivers are going to be. No Bellinger seems like the only guy who's going to be the carryover from this. Yeah. Could be. I mean, I don't Bellinger, know. Bellinger, Wandell, and Hodges seem like those are going to be it. Yeah. There's barely enough good quarterbacks to like fill out your 12-man league. You know what I mean? I mean, 12-man, well, you're all right. Once you get into Superflex, it gets... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but I like... Yeah, it's... There's not 24 awesome quarterbacks in the league. Not There's necessarily. Maybe fantasy wise, you can probably 15. yeah. Fantasy you wise, can your yeah. Way fantasy. A lot There's there's 24 fantasy wise players. Yeah, that's I startable. don't know. I mean, it's not. This is a discussion for a different day. But yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I mean, there, but you can you can get pretty close to 20 ish. Um, you can find them. Um, I mean, to, people to, probably to wouldn't have had start. Jared Goff in the top 24. And I mean, shit, Tua Tagovailoa went as the 12th quarterback in this superflex league. What, like, what does that mean? What, so do you feel that, that great about Tua no, talking about Loa? No, that's why it's QB twelve. Right, right. In a super, you need I, twenty. I, you telling me there's that. another twelve great, like like good fantasy quarterbacks when Tua talking about? I mean, Loa when Tua's was on, he's a good quarterback. Right. The problem is, is what? Right. Then it was Trey Lance, Kenny Pickett. Hey, those are both my picks. <laughs> Russell Wilson, Daniel Jones, Kirk Cousins. Yeah, those are all fantasy Jared Goff viable options. I was gonna see if Goff was gonna make Season it back twos. to me, but uh, Carr, Mac Jones, Stafford, Stafford probably a good value. Purdy, Geno Smith, Purdy and Geno Smith both have been rock solid. Um, anyway, uh, last one would be Dulcich. I think b- both you and I would have him on this lit- list. Went on IR, but yeah. had had a nice little run throughout there. Thwarted Albert O down the depth charts oh, into the yeah. bowels of hell. Yeah, and ruined yeah, he, a bunch yeah. of people who've been screaming about Alberto for years. Oh, Quabanon. Yeah, 
well, it was Dulcich. So suck on that. Um, yeah, he 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 made him. He went he went from starter to healthy scratch. Right. So I think I think a lot of rookies on here, a couple of veterans. Th- these are the tight ends that I'd be you know right. I at think this I moment. think if you're not, I think if you're, you should be targeting these rookie tight ends because their value. I don't I, think anyone was really had high values, but their value should are probably most of them are probably a bit depressed after right. year one, and that's normally what happens if you're not Kyle Pitts. Right. And uh, should, Kyle, p- should Kyle Pitts be on this list? No. If you want to put Kyle Pitts on the list, that's you can. I mean, he's I mean, fine, but he, he was getting overdrafted. He was just getting overdrafted. He wasn't, but... It, he was. No. He was. He's no, he a was. unicorn. He's not. He just has... Look, look at the surrounding situation right now. I mean, one, one, we're a quarterback change away from that being Travis Kelsey for the next 10 years, and you're... And if that's the case, Travis Kelsey is winning you the league. Sure. If you could put a decent team around him fucking every fucking year. So that's why you're drafting Kyle Pitts with the hope that you can get a guy who's catching that many balls and that many touchdowns. Uh, and he's know. basically unobtainable until after this season. So now he's like, feels like he's obtainable. Uh, yeah. To so Mike should be on this yeah. trade target list is what kind of long I just. He feels like his values where I think he should be at now and versus and where he should have been at. We're always talking tight end premium started. when we're talking about. No, and I agree with that. I think, but there's a difference between one and a half, and there's the one league we play where it's two PPR. Sure, and that's just. I think Pitts was like a top five pick. Yeah, I took Pitts. Yeah, yeah, because you can start five tight ends and you get two points per reception. <laughs> He's still the nineteenth overall player in one QB uh, super flex. No, no, not not super flex. One QB. Non tight end premium December DLF ADP nineteen, 19 and non tight end premium. Mm-hmm. The value four, is going to hold picks it. ahead of Travis Kelsey. You're you're going to be you know you're just it's going to be good. It's fairly insulated. He was like twenty years old, um, and and the, he broke the rookie reception record as his rookie season. It just they had they had no pass game this year. I mean it, you know it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean I, yeah, I mean I just don't. Again, I think he's a very good player. I think he's a good tight end. I just don't. I'm just not willing to take him with a top five pick. And in, in yeah, I mean, I was, tight end I, I, was, I was taking him. I took him in a top six or seven pick, and where you get two points per reception for tight ends. Okay, that, that's that's where I took. And him. And I even said to Jason when we were doing that that I was like, all right, maybe we should consider him. But we were picking up four. Right. We had Joe Burrow. We had so. we got Burrow. Right. So that, that's I mean, a different circumstance, and, and that team flex. was built yeah. for the next two or three years with multiple firsts, but. All of a sudden, when Hawkinson got traded and all of our tight ends were starting Sands pits, and you could get two points per tight end, it was you know nobody wanted nobody wanted to see that that lineup come hit you in the face. And if you could just get Pitts to be you know half of what <laughs> you think he might be, he's going to be ridiculous in that league, and and potentially for ten years, or if not more, with what Travis Kelsey's doing right now. Um, so Pitts, baby. Like nice wrap up on this trade target list. Let's get the FF out of here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We got some. We got a startup mock draft that we're going to talk about with some other gentlemen on here. Don't exactly know how we're going to break that down, but we will. Um, and we're about to start hitting rookie profiles here. Zay Jones, JSN, first two off the rip. Zay Jones or Zay Flowers. <laughs> Wish you didn't call him Trey Flowers. Jesus. Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields. Do I get is it uh quarter point per carry? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Um I don't know. I guess I mean Justin Fields is still wiling out. For sure. Like yeah. every time you look at red zone, it's a sixty yard fucking run. <laughs> yeah. Like, good God almighty. And this is bullshit. They're, they're, Chicago Bears are not trading Justin Fields. No, like, not happening. Fuck out of here. No way. You're not. You're not gonna fucking. Tra- you're gonna get a, a haul for that pick. Is what you're gonna fucking. You're do. You're gonna get more for the. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna well, get you a ha- haul. First of all, you have. That's, that's, how, that's how you have to play it. Yeah. Second of but all. But everyone on fucking Twitter is like, look at these numbers. Justin Fields interception. Blah 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. This dude is a fucking baller, and he's the future of. Even someone came back and hit us with some. Uh, how much are moving? How much are professional movers? Someone commented on our video that we did about is Justin Fields the future of the future quarterback of the Bears after he had like one good game. We put that video out, and I was like, he's I was not taking, moving. I took Trevor. You guys took Fields. Yeah, 
I know yeah, you wanted us to say Trevor. I know. I, just I don't know who I took. I honestly don't know who I took. Yeah. Trevor went ahead of Fields in this. I think I need to see Trevor get the. I want if Trevor up. can get that like alpha dog. I need an alpha dog in Jacksonville. It, it, it ain't it ain't Zay and it ain't Christian Kirk. I don't good players. Calvin not Ridley is ready Calvin. to sign up. Not it's, it's six. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Calvin's signing up. Calvin's we're, there we're, next year. Calvin I don't. Ridley. I don't. I don't necessarily think that the Bears should trade away Justin Fields, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities to reset the rookie contract. Take Bryce Young if you like him. Still well, get a, been, still get a haul for Justin Fields. They've been fucking it up for years, so, so I guess it could happen. I'm not. Say, I don't think that that's what they should do. Good. I'm just saying Good that for Justin Fields. Please get him the fuck out of Chicago. I'm yeah. just saying that that's not the dumbest thing ever. Um, for Justin Fields' sake, I hope they do get rid of him. But he's in their building. They probably know him best. So. Sure. All right. Do they? They traded the two one for Char- for Claypool. What do they know? Ooh. Yeah, well, it's the best. Not a great start. Fucking retail idiots. All right. Go Niners. <laughs> What's a bummer? They got to play the Seahawks. Huh? You can't be enthused about that. Well, it's just going to be if, if we lose, I'm going to be the most upset I could possibly be. <laughs> Any other team I wouldn't get that upset about, but I just don't want those fuckers to ruin my... We I mean, could be watching this, and they already did. Um, yeah. But Brock Purdy could play like a rookie. He hasn't yet, necessarily, but beating the team three times in a row is pretty fucking tough in this season. So I know. Ask us 49ers last year. I know. About the Rams. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? <laughs> 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 All right, show. We'll be Great back. movie. <laughs> With some rookie profiles, I think. Gear it up. For some, say my name. Peace. <laughs>